Hello, my name is Kelly Rose and I am the juror for the State Town and Country Art Show. It is a pleasure to be here to review all this wonderful and exciting art from many talented artists across the state. I have a Bachelor in Fine Arts from Millican University with an emphasis in graphic design and drawing. I work with graphic design and illustration and have been doing so for 20 years. And I've been an instructor here at the Champaign Park District for over 10 years, teaching classes to students of all ages, emphasizing in drawing, cartooning, and watercolor painting. I am so happy to be a juror for this show. There is so many wonderful and expressive pieces made by passionate and talented artists, and I can't wait to share them with you. This is Rihanna's piece. She won second place in our ceramics adult category, and she sculpted this beautiful humpback whale. It is very anatomically correct with all these wonderful details of describing the belly and the snout and the fins of this grand majestic creature. And I felt she did a wonderful job of rendering it for display in this manner. These bowls are Lynn's sculpture. She has won third place in our adult ceramics category. These bowls are sculpted out of paper clay, which is a wonderful and delicate material that she has created a variety of textures and imprints in. And I found them very engaging and a wonderful sample piece. And in conjunction with these, she also created these uh, handmade beads which are wonderful texture and beautiful colors, and I was excited to see them. Our first place winner in the ceramics and sculpture category go to Lynn and this trio of wonderful handmade booklets. She has evenly put in the stitching along all of these with these wonderful uh, organic uh, covers, and bound within the pages are these wonderful textured uh, botanical prints and these pieces are just very engaging and lifelike to look at and a pleasure to hold in your hand and I found these just to be made expertly and with quality and it was a pleasure to see them. This is Emma's piece. This piece won third place in the drawing and painting category in the youth division. This lovely piece uh, done in a Chinese painting tradition shows two crabs with these wonderful soft uh, kelp that they are wandering around. Her brush strokes are fun and playful and it shows off these crabs in a wonderful and charming light. This piece by Grace is a photography made in the winter time and it's a wonderful time of the season of when everything can be encased in ice and she has these wonderful intricate branches of the tree winding and twisting around amongst the ice. And there's so many cool shapes that are occurring in here and the soft, subtle touch of orange there kind of sets everything into play. One thing I would recommend for the future is when playing with items that are out of focus, try also offsetting them outside the center of the composition and see how they can accentuate the primary items that are in focus. This is Grace's photograph that has won first place in our photography category for students. And this is a lovely piece just showing the atmosphere and the quietness and the weather conditions that can occur. And in these weather conditions, her light was refracting and creating these extra elements of a circular form in here, which is just a wonderful play of shapes and playfulness, and also just a quiet and really nice piece. This is Carol's painting. This piece won second place in our adult painting and drawing category. And this is a lovely, wonderful piece and in a celebration of color. Uh, the artist chose to put this deep burgundy and browns over here to set a ground for the painting and then put in these exciting and vibrant yellows and oranges and reds that leap off the page and just they feel like they are glowing and all these expressive shapes uh, coming off describing these leaves makes for just such a vibrant and expressive piece and I was so excited to see it and glad it is in our show. 
This is Anna's piece that she created, and this piece won first in our drawing, painting, and printmaking category in the youth division. And this lovely, thoughtful piece just brings together so many elements in a pleasing composition. The artist has some wonderful, quiet renderings in pen and ink, but also has collaged together some other elements of stamps and elements, and also some burnishing of items into the piece, which just creates just this wonderful, thoughtful piece that um, anybody would be happy to view. This is Miriam's wonderful painting that she created, and this piece has won third place in our adult uh, painting and drawing category. This is a profound piece uh, showcasing previous generations uh, in a somewhat defined form with what appears to be African masks standing behind a future or present figure uh, here in the present, proudly standing before each other and in a presence of solidarity, which is the name of the piece. The artist chose to use these warm, strong colors to accentuate these characters flowing around and together and is a wonderful, strong statement. This piece by Grace is our best to show in the youth category and it is a strong and powerful piece that was rendered expertly with skill. Uh, the chosen material is pastel and it is a large piece for a pastel piece and it just shows the control and the application that the artist had with their chosen material. One of the things that goes into an effective pastel piece is changing your stroke and mark making to, de to describe different shapes and elements of the piece. And Grace does that wonderfully with choosing different mark making in the flesh tones, to the hair, to the shirt, to the background. And I thought that was a wonderful, effective choice. We have this soft graduated green that occurs in the background very softly. And then we have this portrait that is rendered wonderfully with the materials, with these hair wisps that are put in with care. And at, at a little bit of a distance, it reads wonderfully and perfectly as a likeness and as a warm, caring human being. And I was glad to see this in our show. This watercolor by Helen is a wonderful piece also in our show. And this one won first place in our drawing and painting category for adults. This is a wonderful and charming subject that we have here. And Helen executed the watercolor brilliantly. She has used a selection of colors to warmly describe the fabrics and the flesh tones that are present in this piece. And she worked them all with a similar intention. And we just have such an expressive and lively figure and the watercolor bring the lightness and brightness to it that few other medium can. So I find this an absolute joy to view. This is a wonderful addition to our show and I thank Helen for sharing it with us. This is our best in show for the adult category, and this is Divya's piece titled Bride. And this is such a wonderful piece done that I just am constantly finding new and exciting details that make me so excited to look at this piece. The artist chose with this brilliant red that is applied wonderfully across this figure within this composition. And all the lines done are expertly done and done with intention and care. They all have a purpose that are within this piece. And all from the largest shapes to the tiniest floral details, all are rendered with care. And she accentuates these lines by adding colors, but not just applying them willy-nilly. They are applied with care, along with these green elements and these leaves. But she leaves enough white space in here for you to clearly see details of smaller leaves and these detailed blue flowers intermingled with these leaves, creating just such a strong and playful background that complements our head figure wonderfully. 
and the care and attention that goes into this entire piece is just wonderful. This painting by Marissa won second place in our youth category for painting and drawing. And this wonderful, charming piece is just a wonderful expression of the imagination. She has wonderfully painted these various items in a woodland scene, and she did them with confidence and uh, care. And all these animals and beings and creatures have come out at night to experience this wonderful land. And she did all these characters with similar care and attention and an expression of of their character and I adore how all of these are cheerful and night and they are all working together and experiencing this wonderful quiet scene and I find that she put all these characters together in such a charming and lovely way and with a care to detail that I just find it a lovely piece. I want to take a few minutes to share some honorable mentions with you today. Uh, one of these honorable mentions is this watercolor painting by Helen. And this is a wonderful, charming piece of a young boy that was expertly and caringly done. You can definitely tell the likeness uh, of the child with the wonderfully, expertly rendered hair, delicate eyes and lips, and the softness and blush of the cheeks is so charming and endearing. We have that same care going into the stripes of the shirt. Uh, one thing I would recommend in the future with such a piece like this is try and bring that care of the brush stroke skills also into the background as we're getting a little bit of separation from the technique used on the grass uh, from the figure in the foreground. This painting by Julia is a wonderful example of the acrylic pour technique. She chose a simple palette of white, black, and a lovely violet. And all of these work together to create a wonderful contrast in value and a wonderful contrast in color. And the acrylic pour technique allows you to get a variety of shapes and texture. So many elements of these random textures can occur that uh, it is just such pleasing for an artist because it ticks all the boxes of the elements of art from line, texture, color, shape, negative space. All of these are touched upon in here. And I just love this figure, this abstract form that comes here because it, to some people and to my eye, it kind of reads as a figure. And I find that just very interesting to pull out stories and visuals for this. So I find this a very charming piece. On the Boardwalk by Anne is another solid drawing and painting piece that we have in our show. And this piece celebrates various cultural elements from the late 19th, the early 20th century. And the composition and the bold use of color and shapes is so striking, it demands attention from your eye. And she has played with these forms uh, in a various of ways. Uh, we, we even have a little tuck up here, which I find absolutely charming. And, but just all these forms keep such an energy and a movement through this piece that I find very exciting. This wonderful painting by Edna is another wonderful piece that we have here. Uh, a very large canvas, which I'm always so excited to see because it allows for the artist to use a full range of brush strokes and expression. And she does not disappoint with having this wonderful soft trail leading you back into this lovely green forested area. And you just almost feel like that you can just walk right in here and experience what is happening into this space. And we have the warm yellowish green leaves with the bright blue sky. And I found it just a lovely piece that I, I'm just glad to have here. This charming drawing of a dog that Rosa has shared with us is a lovely and skillfully rendered piece. The softness that she has rendered the elements of the fur, sometimes she's very soft and sometimes she comes in and expresses every single hair that is visible there. And the softness of the collar, you can feel it 
in there and the delicateness of the eyes is just a wonderful and charming. You can feel the warmth of this animal in front of you. Uh, one thing that I would uh, recommend to maybe look at a little differently in the future is we have these bright turquoise elements in the eye and I wonder if there's some way to de-emphasize that but still remain true to the appearance of the animal. This little painting by Sarah I find is an excellent uh, application of color and shape. Uh, Sarah has put together this wonderful deep blue sky that has these lovely swirling clouds and they are, some are so softly put in that they are just so delicately moving through the sky. I find it absolutely charming. She offsets these with these strong yellows and coral colors that creates just an excellent excitement around these additional colors. Uh, one thing that I would recommend for the future is when applying uh, additional colors to the clouds is try and emulate those different cloud brush strokes uh, with the other brush strokes that you've applied to the clouds and that will merge together in a much more harmonious way. Abigail painted this charming and warm rabbit for the exhibition and I just so love the attention to detail she had of putting in the fur and these wonderful swirls of going from the yellow to the bright green it is just absolutely intense and lovely. She also put in this grass work. She used different brush strokes for each different element of the painting, which I greatly appreciate and helps the viewer make sense of what goes where. One thing I would recommend for the grass is to get a few more strokes of the brighter green grass and then have some shadows describing that grass. That way it'll feel a little bit more cohesive in front of this well-formed rabbit. This is a strong piece made by Catherine and I'm so glad to get to view such a strong and powerful piece. A great example of just expressing different varieties of medium in a single piece. And her use of color and shape and form is so expressive and large and energetic. I totally enjoy it. The artist has these lips being a cohesive element among all three sections. Uh, one thing I would recommend for the future is when you are rendering a black and white piece with pencil, get in there darker with some of the shadows. That's going to help uh, describe the forms in a more concrete way that is pleasing to the viewer. Thank you for sharing this with us, Catherine.